Hello friends, in this session we will be talking about public administration as a optional or you can say the strategy for public administration in Odisha administrative service. In 2018 and years to come and in earlier days also public administration is a very popular subject, very interesting subject, societal subject, as well as from exam point of view, it's very, very scoring. I do not say that all other optionals are not scoring. I will deal all other optionals also. But first of all, we have to understand regarding public administration. We have two optionals in main examination so one of them you can keep public administration right and in this public administration you have two papers paper one and paper two each paper carrying 300 marks right so this is paper one carrying 300 marks and this paper also carrying 300 marks right that means you can say Right? That means you can say total 600 marks. Total 600 marks. Are you getting my point? So total you can say 600 marks. And optional plays a vital role for your selection. Right? And in this lesson, I will say and I will explain the strategy why you should keep public administration and how you can score very high mark in examination right so that you can come under top 10 right you just see this is paper one syllabus and this is paper two syllabus i have used also different color black and blue right so anyway this is the syllabus you can say and in this syllabus, you can see here total number of chapters in paper one, 10 chapters, one, two, three, up to 10. And the total number of chapters in paper two in the public administration, right? We have 10 chapters. And if you see, in some total, we have 20 chapters. How many chapters? 20 chapters. And it's very less syllabus within short span of time you can score very very high marks right you just see here in paper one we have 10 chapters right like basic concept principles on theories of organization you can say structure of public organization ab stands for administrative behavior this is administrative behavior i will explain don't worry right arbitrary behavior then accountability and control you can say arbitrary law and reforms arbitrary reforms competitive public administration and development administration public policy personal administration and finally we have financial administration these are the 10 chapters in paper one and if you see paper two we have also 10 chapters First of all, I will explain paper one, then I will explain paper two, right? This will be very brief lecture, so you should understand the basics, right? You see, what happens actually in exam, I will explain certain things here. This is paper one, right? You just see here, we have, suppose paper one question, well, this is question paper, right? It is clearly written, actually total number of question will be eight. Total number of question will be eight, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many questions will be there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight questions will be there, don't worry. And question number one and question number five, Please remember question number one and five, which are objective. Objective means short note, right? Short note, 
you have to remember question number one and five compulsory right so in paper one suppose this is a paper right we have total number of questions eight question number one and question number five compulsory right total marks i have told 300 in paper one in paper two also we have 300 marks don't worry what happens actually here you will find 20 marks question 320 marks question so 60 marks and in this question number five we have 20 marks each question and total number of question you have to answer three right so you just see here 60 and 60 it is clearly written that question number one and question number five compulsory and you have to attempt at least one from section a and section b there will be two sections please remember this will be section a and this will be section b don't worry i have written syllabus so i'm just managing here so don't worry right or if you say i'll write here also but it's visible no issue so what i mean to say Question number five, question number one, compulsory and they are short note. Okay. Now, the, you have to answer any one of them, any one, any one from here and any one from here. Are you getting my point? Try to understand the point. Apart from question one and five, one and five, one and five, you have to attempt at least one from section A, this is section A, and this is section B, right? I have 10. That means you can say, because you see, these, these long questions are each carrying 60 marks. This is 60, 60, this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60. Are you getting my point? That means you can say, I write here, that question number one is compulsory, right? 60 marks, how? 20 into 3, question, 3 questions. And question number 5, 60 marks, 20 into 3, 3 questions, 60 marks. Right? And apart from that, each question carrying 60 marks. That means you have to another, you have to attend another questions like you can say, how many questions? You can attend one from here at least. So suppose you are attend attempting is suppose two and three suppose two and three you attempt that means this is long question 60 60 and you are attempting at least one suppose question number seven right this is also 60 that means you can say 560 means total 300 right very very simple try to understand what i mean to say i'm just explaining again the first thing is that Question number one and question number five compulsory, right? And they are short note type questions, or you can say little objective. Each question in question number one and five, they carry 20 marks. Sometimes it is 30 marks. If it is 30 marks, then 30 into two, two questions you have to answer. And apart from that, any one you have to choose, but you have to attend three questions because total number of questions you have to attend six, five. So five into 60, 300 marks. Well, I, I think you got this point. Let's understand the syllabus first of all. Same thing in paper two. You have to attend five questions. Question number one in section B, as a, section A is compulsory. And question number five, in section B, that is also compulsory. And you have to choose at least one from section A and at least one from section B. As you have to answer three questions after one and five, then you have to write here two questions, one from here or one from here and two questions from section B. This is the thing you have to remember while writing the answer in public administration. I hope you have got this idea. Now we'll be talking about the syllabus. Right? I have written in a brief way, so try to understand this point. First thing is that this is basic concept. What is basic concept? One online. You see, introduction part. 
what is public administration what is the nature of public administration scope dimension right you know public administration public plus administration you know means to serve people to look after people caring the affairs of people and being a bureaucrat you should understand the people's problem right so general public problems issues in society so this is dealing about the basic concept and in this part also new public administration is coming so many things are there so i'm just going to explain you in a very shortcut way in second part principle theories beautiful theories are there scientific management theory weber's uh, bureaucratic theory human relation theory so many theories are there you can follow and that are very very helpful for a bureaucrat for a administrator it is also useful for public life in every works of life this chapter is very very important interesting chapter right and after that structure of public organization so there are so many organizations in uh, you can say in uh, public uh, administration in government and in private also so many organization anyway without organization no government uh, no or no you can say entity can run so anyway it is talking about structure of public administration in that you will find even also uh, public undertakings even you can say various departments and a complex administrative structure right headquarter field relationship line and staff so many things are there because i have to finish all those things in a very short span of time so just i am explaining in a very short way then administrative behavior this is very very important chapter at least one long question from this chapter actually if you prepare these three chapters you will get at least three long questions at least two long questions means 60 60 long question is over interesting very interesting and if you prepare two chapters from here section b actually if you look at the syllabus up to this this is section a right and up to this section a what i mean to say this is section b this is this is section b and this is section a and this is also section a right and from section a i have told that question number 1 and section b question number 5 is compulsory so this is the point you have to remember then accountability control right checks and balances accountability control very interesting chapter comparative public administration why administration should be compared woodrow wilson former us president will be dealing here rigs also fw rigs will be studying here public policy being a bureaucrat what is the role of uh, uh, what is your role your role in making you know or uh, formulation of public policies for the welfare of people right and after that we have personal and at least one person here and here also right you have to choose your strength areas and you have to recognize your weak areas so that you can score very very high marks i hope you got this point right after that financial arrangements or what is budget there is no such word budget in indian constitution under article 112 we have annual financial statement and under article 202 we have annual financial statement in state governments anyways so what i mean to say what is budget types of budget right types of budget and what is the role of budget in uh, shaping nurturing developing the nation like india developing nation right we we are having developing nation but uh, i think we we are developed already and say developed nation anyway i'm just uh, don't be emotional right so financial administration you can write what i mean to say in this paper you just imagine if you prepare this chapter introduction basic concept means introduction chapter right intro chapter this chapter and this chapter one long question must so if you prepare suppose you have very less time if you prepare very well it will take maximum 2 month to uh, maximum 2 month in one month also you can Uh, get all those ideas so anyway so what i mean to say first two chapters but you have to read all those chapters because if you want to attend the short questions here and here then you have to read all the chapters but long question you can skip these chapters but you have to master this you have to choose which chapter you like most but that doesn't mean you should skip other chapters you should read all chapters right 
So you just see here from this chapter, from this section, you can say seven chapter, one long question must, and from eight public policies there. Here is also long question, but occasionally you'll find. So that means four chapters if you prepare, it will take maximum 10 days. Just write, writing is the key to success in main examination. It may be Odisha Admission Service or UPSC or any kind of main or written examination. You have to write more and more because the examiner uh, having no idea about your face, whether you are smiling, you, you know everything, you will be getting marks what you write, not what you know. That means if you write sincerely, right, in a very smooth way, literal way, right, according to the demand of the question, you can score very, very high marks. So anyway, these are the things in paper one. I hope you got this point. If you have any doubts, you can write in comment box. I'll wipe out this. You can also connect me. This is my number, so you can connect me, no issue. You can WhatsApp or call for any kind of doubt. Now we'll be talking about the paper two. Same thing, like paper one. Suppose this is question paper, right? Question paper. Question paper. Suppose this is question, right? I'm taking one paper. Suppose question number one, two, suppose, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And you have to understand that question number, it will be written there. Question number one and question number five, compulsory. This question is compulsory. Compulsory, this is compulsory, like paper one. And you have to answer a right answer, at least one from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Anyway, eight questions are there, but ten chapters. So try to understand eight questions. Here is here is section A. Don't worry. Here is section B. Right? Question five and question one is compulsory, and you will find twenty into three. How much sixty? And this is also twenty into three. How much sixty? Right? What I mean to say, this is sub type question not objective short, short note type questions right and this is long question long question long question you find long question long question long question right total marks 300 so what i mean to say what i mean to say this question is 60 marks this is 60 this is 60 this is 60 60 60 you have to choose one at least from section a or section B and section B, not or, or and section B. But you have to answer five questions because this one, this one is complete, right? Now you'll be writing total marks 60, 60, 120. Three questions left. Suppose you are writing this paper, this one. Okay, this, uh, from section A, this one, this one. That means you are getting 60 and 60. And at least you have to choose one from here. So let it be this one, right? Then I'm talking about paper two, same like paper one. Then total marks will be five into 60 marks, total marks 300. Are you getting my point? Right, this is the thing you have to remember for exam point of view. This is very, very important, right? Let's understand the paper two of public administration. Paper two carrying 300 marks and paper one also carrying 300 marks. Each optional, there are two options right now. The syllabus uh, may change, but Right now we have this syllabus, right? You have to choose two optionals. We are today learning and understanding the strategy and uh, the chapters mechanism of public administration. So paper one, 300, paper two, also 300. So let's understand these chapters. So these chapters are very, very interesting. These chapters are very, very interesting. First chapter, evolution of Indian administration how Indian administration was evolved, right? How Indian administration was evolved. What I mean to say, uh, you can say uh, during British time, during ancient time, during medieval time, how Indian administration, what we have today was evolved, developed. This is the thing you have to remember. Every year, 
at least one question asked from this you can say uh, from this uh, topic chapter one so at least one question you will find here right and secondly constitutional framework what is preamble refers to the constitution of india silent features of indian constitution like india having uh, longest written constitution we have originally 395 articles now we have more than 450 articles right this then we have federal quasi federal supreme court high court all those things features of indian constitution local self government is there panchayat raj is there right gram panchayat is there so all these things are dpsp directive principle state policy all these things are coming under this constitutional framework very very easy you can say these chapters are mostly related to indian polity if you are reading indian polity sincerely i am damn sure you can score very high marks so indian polity you can study with uh, this uh, right indian polity because indian polity section many sections of indian polity like president prime minister council of ministers right secretariat uh, supreme court high court many things are there in indian polity right what i mean to say these chapters are also important here so there is very much you can say familiarity in between indian polity and this paper actually this paper is called indian administration indian administration are you getting my point indian administration paper two and this paper paper one we call theory paper or administrative theory are you getting my point very very simple thing so theory paper administrative theory so this is theory paper and this is indian administrative paper so we are talking about indian administration that's why in the very first chapter we have evolution of indian administration i hope you got this point right this is also useful for all other exams ups exam right so you should understand very clearly third one central administration in india what is central administration in india suppose president prime minister council of minister group of ministers secretariat central secretariat right and prime minister's office field organization many things are there so you may be reading hindu newspaper or indian express any kind of new channel bbc or any kind of news channel that will be very very helpful for this chapter right then state administration after central state administration the state assembly governor right the powers of governor you can find it there and also chief secretary how district is uh, administered or district administration you may study right so you can download the syllabus from uh, opsc site or you can also fo follow upsc site right or you can write in comment box so that i will uh, give you or you can whatsapp me also no issue i will send this syllabus right after that public services we are preparing you know you people are preparing for civil service maybe state civil service or union public service commission upsc wala exam right so all india services are there we have three all india services like indian army service indian police service indian forest service not foreign service right why they are called all india services right what are the role and function of all india services right so that that's that they are going to ask you such type of things so you have to remember after that local government three tier panchayat raj system right four tier panchayat raj so three tier panchayat system 7th or 74 amendment 7th or 74 amendment in 1990 they may be asked you the features of 7th third and 74th amendment right so they may ask you after that control of public expenditure very very important chapter right so you can say control for means uh, control auditor general public accounts committee committee on public undertakings different committees you will be studying there we have standing committee you know other committee permanent committee all those committees are there so public accounts committee committee on public undertakings estimate committee there are so many committees ethics committee library committee so anyway so committees you will be studying here Apart from committees also, other things you have to study. Just I am explaining. Then, uh, yes, CAG, Comptroller General Article 148, you have to study also. 
machinery planning, you know, planning commission, role function. Now we have Niti Ayog. So you have to follow Niti Ayog, vision document of Niti Ayog, right? And uh, how Niti Ayog is uh, cooperating in a federal setup like India, quasi federal setup. How states are boomed, economy is growing, or economy is declining, you have to assess. That sort of questions may be asked here. After that, welfare administration, you know, we are having welfare state, welfare nation. We don't have, and we don't like also Polish state. In Polish state, there is no less freedom is there. Anyway, so equal opportunity, welfare for all citizens, all those things will be studied here. And then major issues in public administration. What is major issues in public administration? I'm going to explain. Major issues means corruption, you can say, right? Right to Information Act 2005 in our syllabus, you, have to, you will find. So all these things you will be studying here, right? Apart from that also, you have to read newspaper on regular basis. You can relate this paper with current affairs. And if you relate current affairs with these uh, subjects, then marvelous, you will score more than 400 out of 600 marks. And you may be tougher, 2018. Right? I hope you got this point. And after that, which books you should follow, I am going to explain right now. You see, there are a number of books, but I will say, okay, you, you have your own choice, but uh, there are popular books, so you can uh, follow any of them, right? For theory, S. Polynado, S. Polynado, and Avasti Moisori. Avasti, if you simply say Avasti, also they will give you, right? For theory paper one. This is paper one. And thinker, we say actually administrative thinker. Administrative, this one, this one, then administrative thinker. Paper one, I am telling, right? I speakers. And IAPA journal, Indian Institute of Public Administration Journal. Right? And also you can follow, if you have time, second ARC report. Second ARC, ARC report, right? But if you have less time, then you can follow, okay, this one, this one, this one. Sufficient, right? After that, for paper two, Indian answer, paper two is called Indian answer, right? First paper is theory. For Indian administration, Indian administration, paper two, Avasti, if you say Avasti and Mahesari, they will give you no issue, paper two, Indian administration, you can follow that. Apart from that, the Hindu, Hindu or BBC, and uh, PIB, right? Press Bureau information, you know. For news, you can update this. For BBC, you can watch. Regular reading of Hindu paper or any kind of newspaper which you like most. Maybe Indian Express or Times of India, no issue. But you should regularly study. This is the thing you have to remember. And you should think that, yes, you are going to be tougher. You are going to score high marks in public administration then I'm sure, and I assure you, you can score very high marks, right? Wish you happy learning at Vikas Academy. Thank you very much. Thank you.